Hey guys, Rich Page, our Jemathan Timber Frame Company, Maine Timber Frame. Today I'm out at the sawmill. I'm going to be cutting the angle for the ridge poles on a timber frame project we have using the Wood Miser LT40. Let me show you what I'm doing. Uh, I've got a couple jigs, so I'm going to move the camera around. I'll show you the jigs I'm making to hold this in position. And then uh, we'll take a pass and we'll see what it looks like. Let me see if I can't move the camera and show you the jigs. All right, let me set this baby down right here. All right, let's see if that, we can get in here. So this is the jig that, that we've made up and see how it fits onto the, uh, the bunk. You'll notice a couple cutouts here. I got a bolt in here that holds on the stainless steel. Uh, this cutout here is actually, let me bring it around this side over here, is for when the roller or when this comes up, it can potentially hit in this area here, so we had to do a cutout for that area as well. So that's what I've got for a setup for a jig. Uh, we made this area here just a little bit, just wide enough to sit on top of the stainless steel. Uh, and it's really using this as the flat spot of it. Uh, and this plywood is just basically to keep it in position so it doesn't slide off itself. So that's the jig setup. This one in particular is for a 1012. On what I'm cutting is a 1212, a, a 6 by 10, and I'm going to take off a portion of the top for the ridge pole. Let me set this up, fire up the sawmill, and fire up my sawdust blower, and uh, show you what it's going to look like. Here it goes. And you'll see, let me grab the camera, from the angle we set up, I've got a registration mark here, which is the center. And so if we take our piece off, voila, we've got one half of the ridge pole cut. So this is an idea, if you've got a sawmill, you've got a friend with a sawmill, uh, you can make up some jigs and you can cut your ridge poles uh, pretty much to a perfect angle of what you're looking for with a couple jigs, slow and easy. Let me swing around the back side here. Hopping over the sawmill, hold on. And you'll see how I clamped it up. I've got a clamp that matches the angle over here. I got a rag there, so when I clamp up, I don't want to really put a ding or a dent in the timber because it's pretty much finished other than this ridge pole. So that's what we have. Uh, I'm going to flip it over. I actually have to pick it up, rotate it 180, put it back into the other side. But I wanted to share that with you. Uh, tell me what you think. Click like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.